Hey, it's Candace, and in today's QuickBooks Tips and Tricks, I want to share with you a time-saving technique if you don't already have it. So if you go in to write a check, if you, this is a way you can see what's going on with your QuickBooks you may or may not know off the top of your head. So say that you had a transaction for $12.34. You type $12.34 in and you hit tab, QuickBooks will actually put the decimal point at the end. One of the settings that you can do within QuickBooks, if you go up to Edit, Preferences, you can actually have QuickBooks automatically place your decimal point. If you do a lot of things that end in zeros, you may not want this fact feature, but if you have a lot of things where you would like it to put the decimal point in for you, you can. So all you would do once you choose that is you just type in your numbers, click down below, and it'll automatically put your decimal point. It saves you a keystroke. If you do a lot of transactions with zeros, you would have to add the extra two zeros. So it just depends on how you do your data entry. Let me know what you thought of this tip. Leave a comment down below. Again, to get there, you just go under Edit, Preferences, General on the left, My Preferences, and then just check that box. If you enjoy these videos, don't forget to subscribe and like this video. And if you want to get these tips in your inbox each week, because I do a tip every week, feel free to go up to the I or down below and make sure you subscribe to my weekly tips and tricks. They'll go directly to your inbox. Or if you are wanting to learn more about how to use QuickBooks Pro or Premiere, I have a Windows-based training where you can learn from A to Z everything you need from setting QuickBooks up to how to read your reports and everything in between. Feel free to check that out at confidencewithquickbooks.com. Dot com. There are different options to work with me there as well. Have an amazing day. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.